Welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio with another completed commission. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do everything from uh, showing off completed commissions to tutorials on how to build, convert, paint, uh, etc. Reviews on new products. Uh, everything from Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, uh, Blackstone Fortress, Warcry, Age of Sigmar, basically anything Games Workshop we're interested in. So, and uh, maybe getting into uh, Dungeons and Dragons content in the near future as well. If you might be interested in something like that or you have any other suggestions, uh, I highly recommend that you leave a statement in the comments and I'd be more than willing to accommodate. So this here is a completed Sanctum commission. It is two Sanctums for use with Warhammer 40,000 or Kill Team. Uh, as you can see, we've used a Zenithal uh, style painting technique with uh, metallic highlights and then uh, done like the skulls as well. Did sort of a uh, blue tint. Uh, that fades into everything from copper tone for the metal to our uh, typical lead voucher and then we've used the contrast paints to do the actual like skull and uh, faces looks etc. Uh, overall came out very nice it's two of the set up typically on anything from your normal size kill team board the 22 by 30 or your smaller games of Warhammer 40,000 or spread it out a little bit more maybe not make it uh, as much two-story action and a little more uh, like one story centric to play basically on a larger board as well or you could use this set with existing terrain or use this as a starter set and then add on additional terrain uh, anything over I think for combat patrol 500 points and then obviously kill team as well this is your perfect set anything larger than that you're probably going to, as you get into a thousand points, you're probably going to want a little bit more cover or a little more flexibility, at which point you could add in some crates or barrels, a bunch of scattered terrain, etc. So this is just the uh, modularity of it and shows essentially how everything is when it's unassembled. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, set a couple things up and I'll come back and kind of show it off uh, as we go. But uh, essentially this is the two sets. So if you were picturing what one sanctum would look like done up the exact same way, you know, you can basically just draw a line right down the middle and you would just get half of it. So it makes up essentially like one large building with all the extra like pillars and statues and everything and then the floors and then the scatter terrain that's in there, the ruins and everything, stack on top to make like a multi-story building. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a break. I'll get this all set up and we'll come back shortly. All right, so for this first setup here, uh, we have the one larger building is a complete sanctum all just put together there and then I uh, basically used all the other pieces of the other sanctum to uh, create the smaller buildings and then the uh, scatter terrain as well so this is basically just a uh, setup you could build it's not symmetrical which is typically ideal in your games uh, this one would be more of like uh, you know maybe one army is defending like the larger building uh, and then uh, somebody else is trying to attack it or perhaps you have like an objective in that building that everybody's trying to get to and then they're starting from opposite sides uh, but it just kind of shows off a little bit of the flexibility that you have to create like one large building and then use the other building for smaller ones now alternatively you can create one gigantic building by putting the two of them together or you could essentially break down both of them into a bunch of smaller buildings uh, not have the one larger one so I'll break it down here and uh, do like one or two other setups just to kind of show it off but you can see this is a 22 by 30 board uh, that it's on and you have ample terrain uh, one could even argue that you have a little too much if you were playing a game of 40k or something like that uh, and you had a bunch of vehicles or something like that you may have trouble getting around uh, but this is more of like a heavy terrain setting city fight board but if you broke this down into a uh, like thousand point game and you had the board twice as big you have plenty of routes but you also have like plenty of line of sight blocking terrain for everything now you do have windows in all the first floor stuff so there's no real areas that you're like completely covered but depending on how you play the game how you do line of sight and everything like that a lot of people count the first floor as being blocked off a lot of people just play like actual line of sight so there's a lot of options there as well uh, to kind of modify the rules or modify the game accordingly to uh, you know whatever like shortcomings you find or if one thing is a little too strong you can kind of take a little terrain away or take away the second floor 
or however you need to to kind of adjust your games but uh to me this is like the ideal set i like to have a bunch of terrain especially for a kill team uh and then kind of like use your strategy to work around it and then it also gives benefits to certain units that have like a little more tactical flexibility and a little less benefits to units that just kind of like hang out in one spot and uh do like the camper status so uh, we'll go ahead and pause it there and then i'll do another setup as well all right, so for this next setup here, uh, everything is assembled completely symmetrical. So you basically have uh, two of the large buildings and then two of the small buildings. Uh, and then you kind of like space out all the like statue pieces in the middle to provide like that kind of cover. And then you have like an open kind of kill zone in the middle. Uh, each of the pieces of terrain, you have like the four main pieces, has a second floor and a first floor. Uh, you have essentially like adequate areas where you can close the distance between each other. Uh, and then you also have like a decent amount of line of sight blocking, but there's never anywhere where there's like crazy distances between you. Uh, this is a little bit more of like a competitive setup uh, as where, you know, typically if you have like a non-symmetrical board, uh, it's a little less competitive because one person might have a perceivable advantage over the other. So uh, here's one more setup and then uh, I'll just kind of uh, break it down and maybe just do one more and then uh, we'll call it a wrap there. All right, and for this setup here, we now have essentially one uh, giant building in the middle. So we've taken the two sanctums, uh, set them up symmetrically, and then just put the two of them together to form one large building in the middle. And then you have essentially like kind of a nowhere, no man's land, like outskirts. So the majority of the action would basically take place uh, fighting over like an open central objective with like direct lines of sight like through the middle to the opposite sides you still have your multiple stories and everything you have quite a bit of uh, cover if you try to work your way around the outside of the building and then obviously you have uh, you know quite a bit of cover from the buildings but if you're trying to essentially gain like a vantage point on someone you're going to kind of have to be out in the open to get there so it's a little different uh, kind of forces the action into different key areas uh, but you can do whatever you want with it I'm just trying to demonstrate not only like the quality and the coolness of these kits but the importance of like the modularity and if you find that certain parts you really like to always have built the same way you can obviously do that over and over you just glue those pieces uh, so that you don't have to worry about it but I like to have the options I like to have the flexibility give the flexibility to the clients and then they can make that decision uh, also it really helps with like transporting and shipping uh, if you keep everything like set up modularly because it's really easy to move them around and transport them etc and then another cool thing is too is by not gluing the actual statues onto the pillars you can basically put them wherever you want so it gives you a ton more options just for how you want everything to look so you're not locked into like a specific build or a specific set or anything like that. Uh, you know, you can move around like all the pieces, however you like. Um, obviously, depending what you want to do, you can do it. Uh, I enjoy having like multiple options. I like to give the client as many options as possible uh, so that once again, like they can kind of decide on the setup they like and then add on to it. Or if they decide they just want to play this one set forever, uh, they have the flexibility so they're not just like locked into, uh, you know, the exact same board over and over again. You can have a buddy over or uh, meet up at the shop or whatever and, uh, you know, play a different game every time. No two games are ever the same. You can mix it up with the missions. You can mix it up with the terrain, the buildings, everything. So, uh, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I highly recommend that you uh, give us a like and subscribe. Share the channel with your friends. We're getting close to that uh, thousand subscriber mark. I'm very excited for it. Uh, if you enjoy the work or have any questions about how we achieved this look, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I always leave like what paints we used and uh, what kits we used, etc. But uh, if you're curious about the process or whatever, I'm glad to demonstrate that or explain it further. Uh, if you have any recommendations as to what you'd like to see in the future or anything like that, I highly recommend that you uh, leave that in the comments as well. I'd be more than happy to accommodate you. Although just with the demand lately and how busy we've been, I've been doing a little less of the fun stuff and uh, just focusing a little more on showing off the commissions as we do try to get them out of the studio in a uh, very quick manner as you can see from the videos and everything uh, we really run through these things but uh, never sacrifice quality for time quality is obviously number one priority but uh, you know we 
we move product out of here pretty quick too. So uh, if you're interested in a set, obviously uh, feel free to shoot us a comment or uh, check us out on our eBay store. Uh, if not, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the videos and uh, keep your eyes out for something fresh. I try to put out a video every other day or every couple of days at least once a week uh, and try to mix it up between all the different factions, all the different games, 40K, uh, Sigmar, etc., Warcry. But uh, like I said, you know, lately I've just been so busy or we've just been so busy. I uh, really had to focus a little bit more on uh, just kind of showing off the commissions as we complete them. So Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man. Thanks for checking us out and I'm out of here.